For many years, I wanted to go in the step, to meet Overton singers, who can sing two notes at the same time. Siberia or Mongolia, I didn't know, and I didn't have any contacts. In October 2010, I gave my CDs to one of the greatest singers I've heard, Senko Namchilak, who comes from that region. Uh, after I received the letter uh, from uh, Carlo, and he was sending uh, some of his CDs. And one of these CDs was, I was uh, really uh, very, very surprised uh, because it is a CD with uh, 64 guitars recorded on the sand dunes. And it's sounding like cosmos, you know. And I thought, okay, he wants to know more about overtone singing, and I, I would like to meet this man. In November, I began to compose an album. Senko came to sing in my studio in January 2011. The album was mixed in March. Without any producer or recording company, we decided with Senko to try to go to our country. Tuva. Senko, where is Tuva? Tuva is located in the center of Asia, geographic center of Asia. Tuva is a territory like Switzerland and Austria together. And it is between Russia and Mongolia, right on the border to Mongolia. Wow, it's going to be hard, but let's try it. At the end of June, we were rehearsing together, but it took a whole month to get the visas, to book the cheapest flights, to prepare a minimum of instruments and audio stuff. Besides, we were living without any cameraman. But the idea is to go to play music and discover Siberia, Tuva, and its inhabitants, Tuvans. Hello, on est sur la rue Karl Marx. Krasnoyarsk, Siberia. We have been traveling for four days and six hours of jet lag. With yesterday a five-hour flight from Moscow, after a never-ending wait at Moscow airport, preceded by a night train from St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg, where we played at the Kitaiki Lyotchik Club. And here we are at Krasnoyarsk Stolby Mountain. Where are we, Vlad? No, it's Eurasia, of course. Eurasia, it's Eurasia. Here we are at Krasnoyarsk, a little lower, India. Krasnoyarsk is located on the banks of the Yenisei River. Sources of Yenisei are in Tuva and Mongolia and it flows for 5,000 kilometers into the Arctic. Tonight, a gig at the Rock Jazz Cafe. And after, brochettes on the banks of Yenisei. The road from Krasnoyarsk to Abakan. First, Taiga. And then, the step. Here, mysterious prehistoric stones stuck in the steppe.
We are 7,000 kilometers from Paris and 5,000 from Vladivostok. Six hours to drive to Abakan. As for the good places, the hotel is the Abakan and the restaurant is just in front of the hotel, the Abakan. On the road again to go to Shushenskoye. Shushenskoye. <laughs> where the Cyan Ring Festival takes place. It's a free and huge 33,000 people festival with a big market, restaurants, two little stages and a big one. Here we are, Tuva. Five hours drive to Good Kizil on one of the free rail roads of Tuva. Beautiful scenery, especially after the border of Tuva. Step. Tuva's capital. We are in the geographic center of Asia. 80% of Tuvans, Asian faces, coming from Mongol and Samoyed origins, 
I'm not so surprising me looking like Native American people. Historically, Tuva was a part of Mongolia, then a part of China, then a Russian protectorate. Tuvans became independent in 1921 with the creation of the Tanutuva Republic. In fact, the Republic was under USSR protection, and Tuva was absorbed by USSR in 1944. Here we are in the office of the Philharmonic School Director, preparing tomorrow's concert. Igor Turush explained the demolition of a Buddhist temple in Ustuure by the Red Army in the 30s. The festival we will play at the day after tomorrow is dedicated to the temple reconstruction. Tuva became independent in 1990 but is still part of the Russian Federation. It's a real cultural decolonization that took place in Tuva 20 years ago, with a revival of Buddhism, shamanism, and traditional culture. Unfortunately, at the beginning of the afternoon, everybody is talking about a boat that sank in Volga. More than 100 of people died, mainly children. All the concerts are cancelled today for Russian National Morning. The museum, where we were supposed to play, is also closed. On the way to Chadan, with Robert and his minibus. Four hours drive, but first we stop in a luxury hotel, Aldin Bolak. Chadan, at the same time as the arrival of a 40 km horse race. Big horses and horse kids, mainly bareback. Big excitement, the arrival is parallel to the road. Three and sometimes four lines of cars that try to drive at the same speed as the kids bustling for space, drivers shouting to encourage their children on the horses. There are 310,000 inhabitants in Tuva, half live in the countryside. Russian live mostly in Kizil. Russian is spoken at work and in towns, but Tuvan is the main language. A majority of Tuvans live in Tuva, but now, due to unemployment, many Tuvan students are leaving the country. There is just one small airport in Kizil, three roads and no trade. But this year, a railway is under construction from Krasnoyarsk to China via Tuva. This means coal, gold and uranium will be exported. Russians are for the railway. Many Tuvans I've met are against it. They are afraid of an invasion of tourists and nobody ever asked Tuvans for their opinion. Buddhist temple, Ustuure, near Chadan. The temple was destroyed by the Red Army in the 30s. Many lamas and pilgrims were killed. The list of dead people has still not been published, and it's a painful past for all Tuvans.
Many people come to touch the ancient walls, leave offerings and make wishes. The Dalai Lama came here in 1992. He said, the flame of the icon lamp of this temple shall never become extinct. The Hustu Hure festival has been a charity event for 13 years. The new temple is already rebuilt. Now, they need to fix up the inside. Arrival at the festival. Donc il faut réussir à viser. Ça n'a pas l'air facile. Notre yurt. With a bedding installed, it's going to be a very comfortable sleep. Off to the festival at the Chadan Stadium. But just before we began, no more battery, no sound and no video of the show. The parade in Chadan to celebrate Tuva's 90th anniversary. Everybody is there. All the province's representatives, beautiful women, wrestlers, firemen, policemen, nurses, horsemen. Tuva is mainly known by stamp collectors for exotic stamps from the beginning of the 20th century and by musicians for the particular 